Welcome, in this video we will further proceed with SQL injections. In this video we will do SQL injection with the help of Havage or you can spell it as Havage, whatever. So here I have already downloaded the pro version of Havage 1.152. Just google search for Havage and download it. So now let's proceed. Before that we need to have a vulnerable website you search and got in previous video that is biblehistory.com I will remove this hash as it's of no use for us so biblehistory.com is the vulnerable site I will just copy this URL and paste it in Havage let me first open the Havage and run Havage as administrator yes So now Havage is running as administrator and I have internet connectivity as you can see here. I'll just copy and paste the URL here that is vulnerable website and its vulnerable link. So now we are done. I'll hit on analyze. Havage has started analyzing. The web server is Apache 2.4.23 powered by PHP 5.5 which is doing SQL injection of integer type. Let it do this. Let it do its work. It will hardly take few minutes depending upon the kind of website you are targeting. Finding database type. It will take more time so I'll just fast forward this video for you it has found the columns count that is one DB server database server is MySQL which is greater than or equal to 4.1 analyzing is over after somewhat 10 minutes you can see here Few of them got failed and after trying blind method they got the database that is bible history the length of bible history is 13 so now let's see what all we got in info the target which we had submitted host ip web server apache powered by php MySQL greater than or equal to 4.1 and current database is Bible history. So now let's see what all we got or what all we got access to. In tables, Bible history. Now let's click on get databases. It will take time to find databases. Now we have got the database that is DBS. And the status is I am idle. The databases we got here are Bible History, Information Schema, Bible Glossary, Keywords, Kids Dictionary. So now further I will right mark on Bible History and hit on Get Tables. It will start finding for tables. The tables such as Administrator, Emails are showing up here. And many more tables will show up with the time. I'll just fast forward it until all tables shows up. The time how much I took is more than 30 minutes for this table to show up. I'm just fast forwarding the video for your convenience. The list of tables here is not ending so I'll click on stop. So now in tables, I'm interested in getting the emails which this website has collected from its users. So I'll right mark the emails and hit on get columns. Status shows finding columns. Again, it will take time 
I'll just fast forward it. So the columns we got is verified email, email ID and ID. I want email IDs so I'll just right mark on email ID and click on get data. This one will fetch the email IDs for me. I'm just fast forwarding. Actual process takes lots of time compared to what you are seeing here. So here is the list of email IDs showing up here. This email ID is I got after 10 or 20 minutes interval after hitting get data. So have patience while doing SQL injections. So here is the list of emails I got and it's still collecting the column data. You can wait 20 to 30 minutes to collect all emails. I was just demonstrating SQL injection on Havage. So I will just stop it here itself only. So this is how SQL injection is conducted using Havage. As I am able to access any kind of data inside this vulnerable website. So basically it's highly dangerous for the website owner. So that's why SQL injection is most dangerous or SQL injections come in top 10 high vulnerabilities. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video.